let's talk about some gunfighting RPGs. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. I'm going to talk about two different, but very similar, amazingly, role-playing games. The first one is Boot Hill. This was put out by TSR, which later became Wizards of the Coast. This happens to be a copy of the second edition, but I'm going to... I don't think I've played much of the second edition. I played the first edition a bit more. And the other game I'm going to talk about is much more obscure, and it's called uh, Adventure, the game of man-to-man -man brawling in the far future by Yaquinto um, Publications. This one, the second one, is is much didn't sell anywhere near as much because Yaquinto was coming out, but it has some interesting things about it. I'll talk about that in a second. So Boot Hill, um, particularly the first edition, they made some changes to salt with the second edition, but you both can do the, the what's called simultaneous combat, which introduces the concept of plotting out what your character is going to do. You plot out so many moves in in advance and I can't remember how many it is of what you're going to do for each of the next few seconds and that's what your character is going to do and you can have some reactions and things like that and it's um, an interesting game the game starts off I this is my recollection of the boot hill the game starts off it goes for several rounds and then um, shots start ring out, and it just turns into a bloodbath, really badly. Yeah, people with scatter guns shooting everything, and it it just turned it. You know, you hear the term um, "murder hobos" in the in Dungeons and Dragons. When you played Boot Hill, you slaughtered everyone. That was to kill. It was purely player versus player. Well, not quite. You shot everyone else in the town too, but the, it was it was often player versus player because you wanted to uh, win the win the round, and it was it was okay. There were some yeah, it was it wasn't the greatest the the most amount of fun. On the other hand, this game here, this game here became the the group I was gaming with this became one of our favorite games and th the reason you see this this is a uh you quinto had an interesting idea that today just doesn't work they this is an lp album cover yes back the old vinyl records that tells you how old this game is and the idea that they were using was that they um it's a uh, that they would use the box. In fact, on the back it says um, uh, album, let's see, not a phonograph record, a game only. <laughs> it's got a warning up here saying that it's not a record uh, because that was what the, the idea was that they would save on cost by using, fitting everything into the uh, record album. Now this one used the same thing. This one you plot it out and as you can see you have the classic lightsaber lightsaber versus blaster battle and it, it's it's it turned into perhaps it was it's the group that we were playing with it this turned into just a, the barroom bar, brawl. It is. It's a barroom brawl and the brawl ends when somebody shoot uh, when a laser blast goes or something goes crashing through the windows or something like that or everybody's dead. So you, you tried to aim so you didn't shoot out through the windows and things like that. But things happened and um, barrels got thrown and tables got thrown. That was what was great about this one was the mechanics for handling throwing things like tables and chairs and rolling barrels and things like that. That's what made the game a lot of fun.
because it was the simple mechanics to do that and it only worked when you had simultaneous play because you had planned to do something and a barrel would be ro rolled in front of you which would cause problems or you'd get hit by a barrel or a table or a chair or various things and besides other people shooting at you. That's what made this a lot of fun but both of them dealt both Boot Hill and Adventure had one thing in common and at least it was in the advanced rules or optional rules for Boot Hill which was that you plotted out what you were going to do very different from what you see in most role-playing games you just say oh you do one turn at a time but no in these games everybody laid out on paper like it was six rounds or ten rounds or however many rounds that the, the game was that you laid out what you intended to do for the next number of rounds and then the referee who could be a player because it didn't really matter because you're you're, you're just in there but it was the the referee would figure out the actions so you I actually remember doing this you'd get all the sheets of paper and you would shuffle them up so that it didn't really matter what order something did somebody says I I fired my blaster at such and such a place such and such direction well okay so you know where the blaster is going to f go to so you you mark that you mark that down then you go to the next player and see if he moves to that spot and moves away from that spot if a barrel rolls into that spot what happens so you go through and the the actions and you could start a barrel and I remember barrels then became like characters that were rolled and they would roll along and till they hit a wall or something like that and so that they could be rolling for several turns before they hit a wall and they moved X number of squares at a certain rate and it was so you plotted those out and the characters go oh I stepped into the path of the barrel and get hit by the barrel and anyway or I just barely avoided the barrel it was a lot of fun this one was a lot I found this one a lot more fun than I did Boot Hill but it, it's an interesting question and I haven't seen any other role-playing games in that I've been looking at that do the simultaneous combat where you plot out what you're going to do and this one is you know you do have to have uh, the grid uh, which was necessary we never use this this one we always use the bar the bar and you put you put tables down tables were tokens and chairs were tokens and it, you would shoot them and it was when uh, uh, you'd plot out where you're moving from each piece to each piece the plane on the starship grid was sort of boring it because there were too many walls <laughs> and it wasn't as much fun but this what the it, it there they don't the games don't last very long because things just happen they this says uh, average play time one to two hours and I vaguely think it's probably closer to one hour most of the time and so there are shorter shorter adventure and you just uh, go through this but th these were both hilarious games I really wish this one I was seeing this that this there's a copy available but it's really expensive and um, but that would be uh, I wish some would come back some of these would come back because they were it was a lot of fun to play in a group particularly around the table and uh, people were uh, trying to kill each other and it was all both this and Boot Hill were player versus everything you player versus non-players player versus players you wanted to kill everything generally in the game and it was a lot of fun because that was what you you wanted to do and it was uh, a very violent shall we say but it was a but I ha have very fond memories of these two games so tell me what do you think have any of you played either of these games uh, have you um, had any adventure uh, experiences are there some other role-playing games that use simultaneous combat where players lay out their moves in advance and plot them out I'd like to hear those kind of comments. Um, thank you for watching my video.
I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all your comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. I appreciate both forms of feedback. If you're new here and would like to subscribe, you can click on the icon on the left. If you're interested, there's more content on the right.